if y t is the solution of the differential equation of this then limit of e raised to the power minus 1 y t is equal to so differential equation which one is given to us is y double prime plus 4 y is equal to 2 e raised to the power t first we will find the complementary function and right hand side is not zero is the function of t so we will find also particular integral and general solution gs means general solution will be cf complementary function plus a particular integral that will be that will be the general solution so first we are going to find a complementary function to find complementary function we are going to write a auxiliary equation for this differential equation in terms of m so m square plus 4 this is the auxiliary equation and roots of this auxiliary equation are means uh, m is plus minus 2i means uh, purely imaginary roots so complementary function will be c1 cos because of value of beta is 2 so 2t in terms of t because uh, differential equation independent variable of this differential equation is t so c2 sine 2t this is the complementary function now find a particular integral for this differential equation so particular integral will be 1 upon fd and uh, right hand side this is right hand side it is it is of the type e raised to the power e x or in terms of t you can understand e raised to the power e t so write uh, this t e raised to the power t and uh, value of a is 1 here because this is e raised to the power a type a t and value of a is 1 so replace this a replace d by a if f d sorry f a is not equal to 0 so what is uh, f d f d is d square plus 4 and uh, replace d by a value of f 1 will be or f a will be 1 square plus 4 this is 5 so which is not equal to 0 so you can replace this one is equal to 2 because 2 is also in the right hand side so 2 upon f a is 5 e, e raised to the power t this is our particular integral so how to write a particular integral first write uh, if you can say this is the function of t or sometimes you can say x or sometimes you can say t if uh, this is respective variable in either x or t so write 1 upon fd 1 upon fd and if it is in terms of x so this one is equal to 1 upon fd e raised to the power ax because x is of the type ax and uh, you can write this as f a if f a and e raised to the power a x where f a is not equal to 0 so this is the way to write a particular integral so now we have particular integral complementary function so general solution will be y you can say y is c1 cos 2t plus c2 sin 2t plus complementary function 2 upon 5 e raised to the power t and we have to find the limiting value of limiting value as n tends to infinity e raised to the power minus t y or y t because this is the function of t so you can write y t so it will be this expression will be limit n tends to infinity or you can say because this is in t so t tends to infinity and uh, this one will be c1 e raised to the power minus t cos 2t plus c2 e raised to the power minus t sin 2t plus 2 upon 5 so as uh, n tends to in n or t tends to infinity e raised to the power minus t will go to 0 how you can say by graph because e raised to the power x 
this is the graph of e raised to the power x and this is the graph of e raised to the power minus x as you are approaching to infinity e raised to the power minus x is going to be zero so you can see here so value of this one is equal to 2 upon 5 because this term will go to 0 this one is also 0 and this is finally we have left so limit t tends to infinity e raised to the power means the limit t tends to infinity e raised to the power minus t y is equal to 2 upon 5 now check which one option is giving 2 upon 5 option b is correct